let's discuss about ideal transformer ideal transformer is that in which there are no losses that is no copper losses no core losses and in which the winding resistance is zero and the leakage reactance is zero which implies that in ideal transformer there is no leakage flux and in ideal transformer the core permeability is infinite which implies that in ideal transformer for the flux to set up it requires very very low mmf and efficiency is 100 percent which implies that input power is equal to output power let us consider no load case so if input supply is given then the current flowing in the primary winding is i naught and as this flux is of alternating nature then according to faraday's law of electromagnetic induction here in primary winding an emf is induced and that is represented here with e1 and the same flux is now linking with the second winding and so according to faraday's law of electromagnetic induction here an emf is induced in the second winding let that be e2 and let the terminal voltage be v2 and here the secondary winding is open circuited so current i2 is zero so secondary current is zero now let's draw the facet diagram for this if suppose this is the flux fine as the primary winding is of inductive nature so v1 will be exactly in 90 degrees with flux phi and we know that transformer provides 180 degrees phase displacement that is 180 degrees phase displacement between input voltage v1 and output voltage e2 and in phase diagram this represents e1 and this be the e2 and here we consider step down transformer so is why e2 is less than e1 in ideal transformer permeability will not vary so is why flux phi and uh, no load current i naught will be in phase as here in case of no load idle transformer there are no losses so the entire input current is used for matters in the core so is why i naught is equal to i mu it is discussed in case of idle transformer that input power is equal to output power so observe here that in case of no load transformer i2 is 0 which means output power v2 i2 is 0 that implies input power is equal to 0 which means that the power intake of no load idle transformer is 0 therefore the losses in idle transformer are also 0 now when load is connected when load is connected then there will be current i2 flowing in the secondary winding of transformer and because of which there will be flux phi2 and this flux will be in opposite direction to the flux phi1 and this flux phi2 will decrease the flux phi1 and obviously at a moment induced cmf will get reduced but to maintain this induced cmf transformer will drag more input current from the input supply and that extra input current drawn is i2 dash so now input current i1 is equal to i0 plus i2 dash therefore i1 is equal to i0 plus i2 dash and it is discussed that in case of idle transformer input power is equal to output power that is v1 i1 cos phi1 is equal to v2 i2 cos phi2 and to satisfy this condition phi1 must be equal to phi2 which implies that in case of loaded idle transformer the transformer will drag power at the load power factor from the input if suppose this is the facet diagram for the loaded transformer this be the e1 and let this be the e2 as there are no losses so v1 is equal to minus e1 and e2 is equal to v2 and this is the i naught which is equal to i mu and let us consider the load to be inductive load then when load is connected current i2 will be in lagging with 
e2 let that f phase angle difference be phi 2 that is let the power factor angle be phi 2 as i2 dash is equal to k into i2 and for k is equal to 1 i2 dash is equal to i2 so current i2 dash will be like this and this angle will be phi 2 and it is known that i1 is equal to vector sum of i0 and i2 dash so the resultant is i1 but it is seen that phi1 must be equal to phi2 phi1 is the angle between v1 and i1 so to have this condition phi2 must be equal to phi1 and to have this i1 must be equal to i2 dash that is i1 must be shifted to i2 then only phi1 will be equal to phi2 but this will happen only if i0 is 0 that is if this is 0 then i1 is equal to i2 dash which implies that i0 is equal to 0 that implies magnetizing current i mu in case of ideal transformer is 0 this is the important relation in case of loaded ideal transformer now let's draw the facet diagrams for ideal transformer on load now let us consider rest to load and the common facet diagram what we know is v1 phi e1 and e2 and i mu as in case of loader transformer there are no losses which implies that e2 is equal to v2 and v1 is equal to minus e1 and as here rest to load is considered so current i2 and e2 will be in phase as now i2 is decided therefore i2 dash will be in exactly opposite to i2 and now the resultant of i mu and i2 dash is i1 but it is discussed that in case of loaded idle transformer i2 dash is equal to i1 therefore the phase diagram for loaded idle transformer is this and now let's see the phase diagram for inductive load and the common what thing what we know is v1 is equal to minus e1 and this is e1 and this is e2 is equal to v2 and this is i mu and this is flux phi and now as inductive load is considered so current i2 will be in line with v2 by an angle phi2 so the opposite what we draw is i2 dash and this is equal to i1 and to be more specific you can write i mu is equal to 0 and this is phi1 which is equal to phi2 and similarly let's draw the phase diagram for capacitor load so the common phase diagrams are v1 phi i mu e1 and e2 which is equal to v2 and v1 is equal to minus e1 and now capacitor load means current i2 will be in leading with v2 by angle phi2 and in exact opposite direction i2 dash this is phi2 which is equal to phi1 and i2 dash is equal to i1 but please keep in mind that practically idle transformer doesn't exist